uh, we did subject pronouns, right? We did. We talked about yo, yo, tu, el, or ella, or el or ella. I keep doing this. Okay, nosotros, nosotras, vosotros, vosotras, ellos, ellas. And then we, we talked about usted and ustedes, okay? So, no, usted and ustedes, formal you, which I, or as a, like, no, Spanish people who, who teach Spanish, okay? They keep usted or ustedes in the third person group, okay? They do not keep it in the second person. And the reason I said that the conjugation of the verb goes accordingly, according to el or ella, that's why usted, uh, no, Usted is kept in the category of L and A and Usted. Okay, I'll come to the PPT now. Okay, so as uh, you remember, you know, the subject pronouns which we did in the class, the last class. It's not working. Okay. So subject pronoun that we did in the last class is no this one. Yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, nosotras, vosotros, vosotras, ellos, ellas, ustedes. Vale? So all these subject pronouns we did. Okay. One thing I want to add here that él or ella or anything third person, for example, uh, uh, for example, my father, my my mobile, anything living and non-living thing which is singular will come in this group. He or she or you form. You no, know? it will it will come here in third person. So you know that anything which is living and non-living thing, you no, know, or everything will come in this third person. Okay, apart from I and you, whatever you have, so it will come into third person. If the ob things which you are talking like my parents, you no, know, this is plural. My brothers. OK, my siblings, OK, everything is plural now. So all those third person things which are plural, they will come here. Ellos and ellas, OK? Now we move ahead. And then in the last class, we also did some vocabs, no? some adjectives, OK? And uh, some 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 nouns, chico, chica, chicos, chicas, no? that the plural, putting S into it. And then estudiante, inteligente, and how to use according to gender. Okay, alto is used for chico, alto is used for chica. I hope you remember. And then I I, I try to enter with you people up in this same verb. Okay, so now we are entering into the verb. Okay, so conjugation. With verb, you will be able to make sentences. Okay, so I said this one, no, yo soy. Yo soy chico, yo soy americano. So depending upon yo, what is the gender of that yo? Like for example, if I'm talking, I'm a female, no? So I will choose uh, those adjectives which, or I'll make those adjectives in 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 gen, in no in female in feminine gender, okay? So yo soy chica, yo soy americana. Americana is for American, okay? Somebody who comes from United States or America. You call America, no? Latin America also is America. So, yo soy Americana, yo soy India. No, India is your Indian. India is Indian, Indio is Indian. Also, okay. Both the meaning uh, is same, Indian, but it is Indio is used for a male, India is used for a female. Vale? Yo soy estudiante, yo soy alta, yo soy lista, yo soy shilpi. Okay. So, anything I'll describe myself like this, no? Okay, so now comes the two eres. With yo, it was soy. With tu, it is eres. Vale? Coming to more examples. Okay, so this one you know that tu means informal. Usted is the formal. Okay, so tu eres indio. I don't know if you if you translate these sentences no? uh, in, in in Delhi language. In, in, in Hindi or maybe, you know, so I do translations from Hindi to Spanish, okay, or Spanish to Hindi, you can say. So, tu eres inteligente, no? Tu eres estudiante, tu eres jageshwar, okay, the name of the person. 
Okay, you are this, you are that, you are your name is this. So you are Jageshwar, you are Vishal, you are uh, Vivek, like that. L, he. Okay, so he or third person you can say, no, third person singular. L. So with L, we are using S. Right? So here there is one accent. You know? Some of you might be thinking, why to put accent? Okay, so accent makes some differences. Okay, so we put here accent and then it is he and it is it talks about a boy or a man you know so example is here Jorge es mexicano or el es chico for example he is a boy el es chico and uh, i also said no anything which can be third person will have this verb s so for example name of the people no like the name of my my name shilpi shilpi is india or shilpi is chica or Ankit es Chico, Ankit es Mexicano, okay? So Jorge es Mexicano. El es de Guadalajara, el es Chico, vale? So as I said, don't forget the accent mark, okay? If you do, you are actually writing the Spanish word for the. If you are forgetting the, yeah, the, the, the accent, see, without accent, it becomes the, with accent, it is he. So that's why accent is important, okay? So not in all the words I'm asking, but you know, few in the basics, I'm asking few selected ones, you should never forget the accent, okay? So if one, one of them is this L. Yeah. Okay, so A, yeah, S, Malik. So again, the same verb conjugation will be used here because we have categorized in third person. All the third person will have same verb conjugation. That is S, vale? So Aya is, okay, Aya is she, you know that. Remember this the double L, the sound is your. Okay? Okay, it is used when we talk about a girl or a woman that you know. Uh, for example, Rosa es Mexicana, Rosa es de Acapulco, Rosa es Baca, Rosa es Gorda, ella es Chica or ella es Baca. No, the name of the girl or you can use just ella, no? noun or pronoun you can use, but it should be in third person, singular. Usted, as you know that I have kept usted in third person category. This, the reason is, uh, is is that the verb conjugation s is is the same conjugation what we are taking for l or a yeah, that is he or she and that's the reason we keep three of them together so that you remember the conjugation that it goes same for all of these three or even more because it it carries a lot of subjects now so usted means you formal uh, when we talk to the person whom we give respect, we use usted. Our uh, abbreviated form is UD. So sometimes you will find UD. Okay, consider the third person singular pronoun for verb conjugation, but it is a second person. No, I told this. So whenever you forget, you come to these slides. So usted es colombiana. <clears throat> usted es colombiana. Usted es María. Vale? Usted es colombiana, you know the country which is referred here, Colombia. Okay, Colombia is a Latin American country. And this country is very popular in, in, in the United States. A lot of crime is there, you know, a lot of crime is there. And Colombia is important as a country in Latin America or in the, in the, in the, in the map, you will see in the international map or the world map, Colombia is a very I don't know the reasons for for becoming Colombia uh, popular. Colombia was not so, so popular country. It came only in the 90s or 80s. No, <clears throat> why? The first reason because of their vegetation. They have lot of lot of fruits which you have not even seen, and they are very delicious. Okay, they eat in the breakfast time, and that's the reason also uh, that they are very beautiful. The Colombian girls are very beautiful. Okay, it is said that Colombian girls are, on an average, you know, generally they are very beautiful because of their food culture and because of their also the location. You know, they have very good, uh, what do we call, 
mountains and all they are surrounded by them and another thing is uh, <coughs> is there uh, uh, this mafia what we call this drug mafia okay colombia is also a place where a uh, uh, lot of drugs started the business of this drugs started from colombia because colombian land is very fertile for for drugs you know, very fertile for marijuana marijuana what you call mari we call it marijuana i don't know what do you call it so it is very fertile land in that way also so colombia and, and also it is petroleum uh, good so, uh, place for pet petrol and all pharmaceutical also so i i'm tell, talking about colombia because colombia nowadays is becoming very popular okay so usted es colombiana usted es maria nosotros or nosotras now coming to the plural one okay before that i'll just ask one or two students to introduce themselves okay maybe arpit arpit Uh, hello. Yeah. And good morning. Yeah, Carter. Carter. Yes. Alpit. Yes. Please introduce yourself. Turn on the video and speak. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Alpit Upadhyay, and I'm from Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. And uh, it's a city where it's a historical city. Like there is a lot of heritage here. and uh, a lot of uh, forts and temples here that are very famous and tourists visit those mm -hmm. and uh, i am pursuing computer science with specialization in information security and my interest would be uh, like uh, right now i'm a lot into horror things uh, and other than that of course technology and web development okay that's good Thank you, Arpit. You have uh, described yourself very well. Okay. So let me just call someone else. Yeah, it is Kartel. I think you have written, no, Arpit. Yes. And then the, yeah, and then I remember Narcos also is 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 the same, no, which is talking about Colombian, uh, what do we call, it? drugs. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's too much, no. The Pablo Escobar at one time. like it's completely true story everything is true in the in the in in that series no pablo escobar but yes there was also very much love for pablo escobar lot of love only the people no uh, people who who see for pablo escobar there was hatred only from america united states or the very rich people very rich people they hated him politicians some of the politicians hated him but not all of them but he was a he was a king for the people of colombia okay he was like you no know, hero of for them because he was giving them lot of things okay and whatever he was doing he was doing you know, killing one person is fine until till the time you are giving so much love so much money to the common people okay so killing was not a great deal there and even in colombia crime is a lot and that is the, the reason the why the crime is a lot because of Uh, Pablo Escobar he maintained that scene at that moment but when he died you no know, lot of people came in like you no know, they wanted to grab that power they wanted to do this so that's why in colombia suddenly there was no money because whole this cartel thing they 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 are not able to manage a lot of fight happened among among them and then now uh, like small small gundas we call that you no know, the, they they started you no know, trying to become again pablo escobar which was not possible now again because of america they already controlled everything from then onwards so no small small crimes started happening unemployment was there uh, so they have ruined the country again but then fine okay next is abhirup abhirup ghosh Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm Abhirup. I'm from Kolkata. Uh huh. So you are staying in Kolkata now? 
Uh, yes, ma'am. My whole oh. family is in Kolkata. So you're Bengali. Yeah. Yeah. Your surname is Ghosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, so I'm I'm from city of joy, but right now it's devastated because of Corona. Ah, yeah, I understand. Of Corona, Omicron, and like nobody is going out right now. And I'm pursuing B.Tech in E.C. But my dream is to crack a software software job so I'm in web development and stuff. Uh huh. That's good. Okay. So you want to get a good job in uh, in, in, in in this profile where you are working. OK, great. Abhirup, that's fine. And yes, if you have talked about the COVID, yes, everywhere, it's not only in Kolkata, in Vellore, the situation is very like it's it's not good. The situation is not good. I mean to say that CMC, in, in fact, the CMC, in, uh, this hospital is closed because more, many doctors at at same time, they fall sick because of Omicron. They had Omicron. They are quarantined. Now the you know, college is closed. The This college is closed. So the CMC college is closed. Ours also closed almost. No, I'm like, I feel like I'm say, alone in this whole staff room. There is no one. So, yeah, the situation is not good. Okay, thank you so much, Abhirup. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so coming back. Yes, no, we did. We are going to no sotras or no sotras. Okay, so what do we have here is. Uh, no, nosotros or nosotras somos. That is the plural of yo. No, nosotros is plural of yo. So when there is only like I am only there as a person yo speaking, I will be using yo soy. No, yo soy chico, yo, yo soy chica, yo soy uh, shilpi. Okay. And then uh, uh, more than one person, like I'm with somebody else, like you know, my brother or my sister or my friends. Like, oh, here I was alone, all alone, and then I was saying yo soy. Then more five people more came, then I became nosotros. No? Now it is plural. So I become nosotros. So I will be saying nosotros somos chicos, nosotros somos guapos, okay, everything. But sometimes what happens, like we are not using the word nosotros. I want to put the name, name them. I want to put everybody's name, no? Like there are places when we write, no? Uh, uh, we write Ankita, uh, Anand and I, and then we say, no, centers. I, we are in the in 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 the room, okay. So similarly, yeah, I was there, you was there, and then I'm just adding someone's name, Ankit, Anurag, Abhinav, and then uh, uh, Ankita, okay, and I. So this is a sense of nosotros, but this is nosotros. But I, what I did, I named them individually. But still, it is no sotros. So the verb which I will use for this named one will also be somos. Okay, because it is not one. It, if it is one, then it is your soy. But when four more people come in, then I will be using no sotros. Okay, so uh, coming back to here, no sotros somos guapos. As I said, then I'm putting here sangeet eo. No, the, the example sangeet sangeet. Sangeet is there, no, the middle finger I'm showing, sorry. Sangeet and then yo. No, I'm there. So now I'm not alone. Now two people are there. So it is plural. So what I will do, I will use somos in place of so. Vale? Is it fine? Are you understanding? Excuse me. Yes. Ma'am, you said ma'am that for boy we have uh -huh. to you. So can we use uh, Nino as well for boy and Nino, Nina for boy and girl? Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this question does not fit here, but yes. Yeah, you, for boy and girl, you can use Nino, Nina. Okay. There is a difference. Actually, there is a difference. A small difference is there. Nino and Nina I will use for somebody who is below five. Like it depends, like if I want to use uh, for my kid, for example, I have a son of two years old, like, like he's two year old uh, kid. 
So for him, I will use Nino, but for you, I will not use Nino. I will use Chico. You are in teenage, no? You you do not want to be called as kid. No, I will not call you kid. But definitely, if I I'll have a son like you, if I have a twenty one year old or twenty year old old boy like my son, I can use for you Nino. So it's very uh, uh, what we call uh, it's very uh, relative thing. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm making sense of it, but I'm talking about the language how they are using. Who asked this question, by the way? Let me, Ma'am Saranj. Yeah. So I, are you understanding the point? Yes, Ma'am. Like for me, you are Chico. But if yes. I have a son like uh, like you no know, two year old kid with me, I will use Nino for him. No, Nino, I'll use for him, not for yes, you. You are a teenage. Okay, okay. so there is there is some this um, relative differences are there. OK. But your mom can use Nino for you because you are a kid for her. OK, and that's also very related. No mother and son's relations. Yes, ma'am. I hope I'm making sense. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm telling you with my experience, but in the notebook or book in the books, you will see that Nino is for for kids and uh, and 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 uh, Chico is for boys. OK. But. So I was talking about nosotros and nosotras, okay, and then no uh, breaking them. I hope that's fine. Coming to vosotros and vosotras. For nosotros it was somos. For vosotros it is sois, okay. So vosotros sois inteligentes. Vosotros sois chicos. Vosotras sois chicas. Depending upon the gender you choose, okay. Vosotros chicos. Vosotras chicas. Vosotras mexicanas. Vosotros mexicanos. Okay. So there is another cartel. Cartel. No, we call it cartel. Me Mexican cartel. Okay. So uh, Mexico is also a hub of of of, of, of drugs. No, it, it's also becoming. It is a hub actually. So so United States uh, created this place Mexico as a place for enjoyment, no, entertainment for them, but this uh, the war the, the drugs entered in United States but in a very legal manner no that is or illegal manner also they have entered and then you they are uh, there's always a war against drugs no there's always war against drugs happening again uh, against Mexico by United American uh, whatever the government no? but at, actually it is a creation of United States so so it's a big story but yes Mexico is also popular for drugs Mexico and Colombia and many more countries will come definitely. It's not only Mexico or Colombia. So it is Atul. So I'll tell you again the same thing. Tu, when it is tu, we use eres, tu eres. And the plural of tu is vosotros. We are using so is. And you remember the vosotros, you can break it like no, like Atul y tu. I named it. Atul itu sois. No, I can use like that also. Ellos son. We use ellos son. So again, nosotros somos, vosotros sois, ellos son. Use for a group of boys or mixed group. Ellos son mexicanos. Ellos son inteligentes. Pablo y Juan son colombianos. Right? The name of two people. Rahul y Ankita son estudiantes. Vale. Uh, again, so ellas son. So we are using ellas. With ellas, we will be using son. It's the same thing. Okay, ellos with ellos we used son. With ellas also we will use son. Ellas son mexicanas. Ellas son guapas. Sukriti y Michelle. I just named them. Sukriti y Michelle son altas. No, if I'm only using one person here, Michelle. For example, Michelle is alta, and when I'm using two people, then it will become plural. 
Ustedes son, same thing. We will use the third person, sing, third person plural uh, conjugation. Ustedes son peruanos. Ustedes son Maria y Jose. So, coming to the summer, some, uh, what we say, resume or revision. Yo soy, nosotros somos, or nosotras somos, or I just break it. Ananya y yo somos, no? breaking the nosotros and no? dividing individually the name. Or uh, Anurag y yo somos, tú eres, vosotros sois, vosotras sois, and then the naming the person, Anurag y tú sois, Ananya y tú sois. So one thing you will see, no? here yo is singular, but with yo, if somebody is coming, for example, Ananya, it will become as nosotros. So that's why the conjugation will be nosotros, somos. Same thing here. Tu was single, as it was tu eres, but with an, tu, it, if Ananya is coming, then it becomes Ananya y tu sois. It becomes plural. El es, ella es, es, or anything singular in third person, okay? Anything singular. Like my family, my dog, my cat, my bottle, my mobile, anything that is that is singular we will be using as third person. Ellos son, ellos son, ellas son, ellas son, Ananya y Sukriti son, ustedes son, or anything plural in third person will be son. ¿Vale? My parents, my dogs, my cats, my mobiles, my my cars, my houses, my my no everything which is in plural, no. Yeah. So I will not talk about this two and usted. We have talked about this. Okay, everything I have told this, you just need to, no need to review the, the whole thing again. I hope that is clear. I will throw one uh, exercise, which we will be doing orally. Well, you do not need, you do not need to write, but you need to speak. Okay, you need to talk. So I'll just share that. Let me find out where is that. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so you see one exercise here, no? Ejercicios de ser. So that means you have to exercise the ser verb here, no? You have to work with that. Okay. Not good. So let's do the first one. Elia es baja. Elia es baja. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay, tell me your name. I'll... Saranj. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Saranj. Number two. Well done. You can repeat also. You can tell the other okay. answers. Number two. Nosotros. Nosotros somos. Soy. Somos. Somos. Yeah. Nosotros. So I got the answers. Nosotros somos. Nosotros soy. Yeah, but it is nosotros somos. Okay, we have done that. Number three. Ellos son altos. Ellos son altos. Altos. No, I said to yes. sound. No, there is no to sound. So okay, ellos altos. son altos. Vale, muy bien. So you understood mm -hmm. the difference, no? Uh, you understood the meaning. Ella es baja. Nosotros somos estudiantes. Ellos son altos. When you're not understanding, I'll tell you. Number four. Ashley y yo somos. Ashley y yo somos. Who, who's this? Who spoke? Sunanda. Sunanda. Yes. Yes. Yes, Sunanda. It's Ashley y yo somos. Very good. Okay, next. Nosotros, nosotros somos americanos. Nosotros somos, nosotros somos 
So, Americanos. Yes, muy bien. Number six. So, amigas. Ashley y yo somos amigas. Amigas means uh, you must be knowing that. friends. Yeah, sí, friends. friends. Yeah, thank you. So, nosotros somos americanos. We are Americans. Number six. El libro es red. Es, 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 rojo. es rojo. Yes, el libro es rojo. Vale, muy bien. Number seven. Ella es mi amiga. Ella yes. es mi amiga. What is mi amiga? My friend. My friend. Yeah, so see, you all are guessing already. Yes, and that your guesses are correct. Yes, mi amiga is my friend. Okay, so ella es mi amiga. Number eight. Él es policía. Él es policía. Policía es police. Okay. Number nine. María y Carmen son inteligentes. Son inteligentes. Muy bien. This is Sunanda, right? Inteligente. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to recall your other. Like for, uh, um, it's easy to find out the girls, no? Their voices I can find out because I'm really, I'm also a girl. That's why. But well, I'm sorry to say, but all the boys, I, I think that all, I cannot differentiate. I feel like, like all the boys are having same kind of voice. I don't know. But, but for girls, I can understand. For boys, it's very difficult. I'm trying to find out the names like that, okay? Okay, next. Your son, serious. Ellos son serios, yes. Serios, like, no, uh, like the people who are very serious. No? Sometimes I become very serious. Number 11. La casa es nueva, yes. The house, no? la casa is house. Nueva is new, the house is new. Okay. Number 12. El libro es morado. El libro es morado. Okay, yeah, open. Number 13. Yo soy americana. Yo soy americana. Yo soy americana. Can you find out the gender of this yo? Who is speaking? Female. Yeah, because it is yo soy americana. Okay, number 14. Yo soy de California. Yo soy de California, vale. Yes. Number 14 now. Es Siria. Yes. Uh, es Siria. Francisca. Francisca es Siria. Vale. Okay. Number 16. Son. Ro no, number six. Son. Yeah, who said Sois? Is, is the voice of Sunanda, you spoke, right? Yes. Yeah, I think yes. Uh, she's correct. Okay, I, I keep on. Yeah, when I'm saying Roberto y tú, that's a plural of two form. Okay, Roberto y tú sois vecinos. Okay, number 17. Tú eres mi amigo. Tú eres mi amigo. Yes, you are my friend. Who's this? Whose voice is that? Uh, Ma'am Pratish. Pratish. Okay, it, it, it's quite different. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. I think it is clear to all of you, like those who have participated now, I understood. Okay. So, thank you so much. Somebody has written something. Okay, Deepesh. Okay. So I'm happy that uh, no, we ended this class before time because in the earlier batch they extended it with the same topic because they're not able to understand. I don't know what, but uh, I'm happy that you all understood it so well. So I'll uh, I'll go with one introduction here. Sunanda maybe. Sunanda, you spoke in the last class? No, right? No, ma'am. Yeah, can you introduce yourself? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Sunanda. Can you switch on the camera? Uh, ma'am, I'm not able to right now. Okay. So we will keep it for next class then, okay? We, when your camera is fine. Is there okay. anyone whose camera is working? Saranj? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Please go ahead. Yes. Thank you. 